Again, I'm Ken with Palmero Junk Pile Guitars. I fix up old arch tops. I fix up musical instruments of all kinds, make stuff out of coffee cans, cigar boxes, license plates, or whatever. I'm going to ask you a couple questions, and I'm going to give you a couple choices. They're theoretical, of course, but let's make the assumption that you like arch tops. So I'm going to show you two arch tops. They're really nothing to write home about. They look beat up. They might be beat up. They probably are beat up. But here's the rules. You're going to spend some money. You're going to have to work on the guitars. Now, I'm going to show you the guitars. You tell me which one you think is probably the better deal. Here's contestant number one. Meet a Rex archtop. And it is a wreck. It has a sunken top you see that it has body parts that are breaking loose all over the place the neck angle and string action is terrible it needs a neck reset the body has to be winched back into place now I've done some episodes on a couple of guitars like this one and I can give you a playlist up there so you can get a good idea of what is involved but this one is going to take a lot of work in the end you're going to have I'm not sure what you'll have I do know that this guitar was made in 1942 so you're going to have a really old guitar so again take a good look this is contestant number one now if I hold this up to the light I can see you through the cracks all over the place okay store that one in your brain now, here's contestant number two. Ooh, it looks old it what is all that stuff all over it who cares this is heavy and sturdy compared to this one and guess what there's no cracks in this one the action is perfect the bridge is set all the way down maybe we could raise it it's got great hardware and look at this it's got pickups where this one does not which one is nicer which one is newer this one or this one this one looks like a common pretty much catalog guitar which it was it was made by K in 1942 so Here's that big question that you're all wanting to know. How much work, time, effort, and money would you have to put in to this one and to this one? What if I told you that given the price you're gonna pay for this one, given even if you do the work yourself, there's so much work involved in this one that this one is actually cheaper. You know why? Because this one, believe it or not, is brand new. And I made it out of a kit. But when it comes time to make a dependable instrument that goes out into the blues world where it's going to do dive bars and a rough environment and be thrown around in a case by roadies, this is my choice. So listen, if this interests you, all things being the same. I have made an episode that's about 35 minutes of me telling you all about arch tops, all about the nuances of them, feedback, what the audience looks like, uh, that, can, that, that listens to this stuff and the players and all that. And it guides you through the choice that you're gonna throw your money away on something like this that you got at the yard sale or put your time and effort into something that's pretty much guaranteed to give you a result so there's a playlist up there I'll give you a link right now you can skip all the stuff at the end at the end of the episode you will see the playlist pop up that will automatically take you to that episode but watch it and within that episode you'll find out that if you choose to do a kit 
there is a promo offer in there that's going to make this kit less expensive and then compared to this this would be more expensive so hey one more thing i put the glasses back on so i remember now what does this guitar sound like that's what really matters well let's have a look <laughs> 